What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are working back on the chopper, and our goal is to get it done. Unfortunately, we're not going to make that goal, but hopefully we'll have it running. The reason we're not going to hit that goal is I took that wheel to the Harley dealer to have it mounted and balanced, brand new tire. They mounted it backwards. They're going to fix it on Monday, but unfortunately that means this bike will not come off the lift today. So, and because of that, I don't even want to bother putting it on here, so the rear brake's not going to get, uh, the brake lines aren't going to get ran today, is what it is. Uh, I carried the wheel in, and uh, their excuse was, well, we didn't know what kind of bike it came off of, and I was like, well, there's an arrow on the old tire. All you had to do was follow the arrow. So, I don't, uh, I don't like to tell people that I'm a mechanic when I take things to them to have them fix. So I always love hearing like the excuses they try to give me when they screw up. So it's important to uh, call people out on their bull crap. But they're cool. They're going to fix it. Just kind of a pain in the butt. So what are we doing? Well, right now I am working on getting some wiring done. And uh, oil lines plumbed. I ran into an issue this morning that I did not film. Uh, I couldn't get the oil line on the oil pump. And that would have meant taking the cam cover off to get to it. Uh, I took the oil pump off and then couldn't put the oil pump back on. And I didn't want to take the cam cover off. So I actually notched the cam cover from here to here. Kind of tried to make it as smooth as I could. Uh, but now I can service those lines. So if I'm ever on the road and I get a leak from one of those lines or one of those lines blows out, I can easily service those lines. So... Got all that done. Um, if you saw my short the other day, we got the sprocket for the chain drive on. That was an ordeal and a half. And if you didn't see my short, I'll show you what we did. Some people seemed a little confused as on to how this happened. So we did not do all of these welds as I dropped that. We did not do all of these welds to get the sprocket off. This entire thing is an old piece of scrap that I've welded on, welded on, and every time I get some samples, I weld them together, and I've just kind of been building like this weird tower thing out of it. So, my buddy, he was helping me as we're trying to get the sprocket off. Yes, I know, you're supposed to do it with the belt on, rear tire on the ground, you can step on the rear brake, it comes off easy. But, if you've been around for a while, you know, I blew this engine up a year ago. The engine was locked up. And uh, I had to cut the belt off because I couldn't get everything apart. So I didn't have a belt to do that. So as we're looking for a solution to our problem, my buddy grabs that out of the scrap bin and he's like trying to wedge it under there, seeing if we can stop it from rotating. And uh, I, I'm sitting there looking at it and I'm like, hold up, I got an idea. It was just the right height, so we fired a bead onto it right here. And then, uh, it turns out this outer ring is actually pressed on to the inner hub there. So it started to spin like that. So we put a little bead up there, and the whole thing came off. So, a little ingenuity. This whole project has been a whole lot of ingenuity. But let me throw you guys on the tripod, and I'll show you what I've got going on with this wiring right now. Alright, so for my wiring harness, I'm using the Sportster treatment. I purchased this from Lowbrow. But my application is a little different, so I have to do a little bit of customization here. 95% of this harness is fine, but my whole um, tail light situation is different. So I'm just trying to identify what some of these wires are. So what I'm going to use is a power probe. This is one of the best diagnostics tools ever. I love these things. Got it hooked up to a battery right here. And with this little clamp, I can supply constant ground. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to identify what some hot wires are. So I'm going to take that ground and I'm going to put it right there because I know this is battery hot. And then if I put the keys in the ignition switch and turn the switch on, whenever I go to a hot wire, the tool will show ground on it because I'm currently passing ground through there. So, I know that this wire is hot, and uh, so I'm trying to figure out how, for my brake switch, 
and my tail light. Alright, so this is our brake switch. This is a hydraulic switch that's going to go into the master cylinder. And this wire right here will carry in a constant hot, which will go in right there. So the switch has power at all times, but the switch is open until hydraulic pressure closes it. And then at that point, it will apply power to this wire and complete the circuit for the brake light to come on. And then this wire coming off of the constant power will give us our running light. So the running light's always on, but the brake light does not illuminate until the switch closes. So that's going to be our wiring for the uh, tail light. Okay, so I've got everything wired in, and this is all just on little connectors that I can take apart, so it's everything serviceable. And I swapped the connectors from side to side, that way you can't, uh, if you take stuff apart and you forgot where it came from, it only goes to one other place. So, the way we're going to test this is, again, switch on, we're sending ground through the hot path, so all we have to do is complete the circuit with power and the light will come on. So first thing, we have continuity. So that's good. We have continuity because there's no load, voltage drops at the load. So since the bulb's not illuminating, the current keeps going. Now if we take that and we put power on it, you'll see we complete the circuit and the light works. So. That's the wiring for that. I'm still going to have to tuck all that, but we can move on to our next bit of wiring. Alrighty guys, well, camera battery died while I was uh, doing some wiring and the oil lines. So I failed today. I ran out of time. My goal was to have this bike running. But, for the first time in a year, it's got oil and primary fluid in it. I've cranked the engine over. Back here. I'll crank it right now. See? Carbon exhaust aren't on there. But just trying to let that oil circulate, build some oil pressure. Uh, everything, all the electrical works, none of it is finalized yet. So I still, I can't put the battery box on until I get the jack out from under it. And uh, so there's still some routing going on with all that. But, it, it's pretty much there. Uh, this is the part of a project where you find people end up getting frustrated and selling their projects. I've worked on this bike for almost nine hours today. And it may not look like I've accomplished a lot. But this is the tedious problem solving stuff that people forget about when you do a project. Everybody is so into the painting and the welding and all the awesome stuff. But this is the stuff that mentally destroys you, and it seems like it nickel and dimes you to death, too. I've been to the parts store four times today. So, I guess Monday, we're going to get the Harley dealer to fix the wheel. They mount it backwards, and then I can get that on. I can get the exhaust on, the carburetor on. The bike is pretty much ready to run, but it's getting late. It's Saturday. I'm going to go home, take a shower. I'm going to take my wife out to dinner. So, it's Valentine's Day weekend. But I guess that's going to pretty much wrap this one up. I appreciate you guys watching. Please do me a big favor. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Head on down to the description box. Follow us on social media and our company website. It is all right there. All that helps the channel grow. You guys are responsible for this bike. You guys. If it wasn't for you guys subscribing and watching the videos, none of this would be happening. So, I appreciate you guys. I love each and every one of you. And I will see you in the next one. I am out of here.